Hey y'all, <laughs> this is another life of feet. Um, we started with, you know, me starting on that bobsleigh journey. What happened after my first race? How did it go? So here is a really quick recap of how my World Cup season finished. Um, it ended out really good. From where we started y'all, we started from the bottom, now we here. I'm too old for this, been around this broken down. But I was able to do the last four races and every single time I got out there in a race I felt more and more comfortable felt more like I knew what I was doing. I started to find my mojo And for me like competition like that's what I train for like that's that's what sport to me is all about That's where I feel like the most alive and that's where I, I, I love to be in order to Determine the teams we started to have race offs so basically trying to rank the break men and trying to figure out like who's going to be in what sled Who's going to be able to race this week? I was basically having like two competitions a week. So I would have like a competition in the middle of the week where I'm having a race off against one of my teammates. Then I would have a race on the weekend. So man, it was intense. Sliding with Kaylee was amazing. Man, like I couldn't have asked for a better partner in terms of her professionalism, the way she approached things. Um, <laughs> and I just felt like we gained confidence off of each other. Like, you know, I trusted her, she trusted me. And like, we kind of went out there like, yo, let's do it, like, let's go. And then we won the overall World Cup title, which was pretty dope. I would definitely say that my first box in the World Cup season was a success. Okay, so Olympic announcement is done. Finally, get to tell everybody that I made the 2018 Miss Olympic. So excited to make my third Olympic team. Um, We're going to Pyeongchang, South Korea. This is what we talked about. Road to Pyeongchang from the like first video. You know what I'm saying? When I'm like, hey y'all, I want to go to the Winter Olympics. <laughs> Check it out, y'all. Good, Good morning. The journey to Korea is starting. Best of luck in the competition on behalf of all the employees of Air Canada. They've worked really hard to get to this point. They've been going to impress the kids that were really big on this get our clothes, get all checked into the actual Olympic Village, and then we're done for the night. ring sizing and we got our phone. Okay, so um, got everything, all of our gear, we went through everything. Um, just unboxing everything like this is like the exciting part, you know getting all your new gear all your new stuff um, So still going through everything. Um, we also got new phones shoot right okay. now. Ladies, okay what do I do? Well, Kaylee's getting a drink Other side Kaylee, you have to touch wow. it right here What a rookie <laughs> Polo, thank you first Olympic game. <laughs> thank you for showing her what to do Of course, thanks. Yo, it shows the thing. Any what drink is... you want. Any drink you want, you got it. Got yeah. it. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. And this, can we see the little thing that you used there? No, not the water. Oh. <laughs> so, so little you coke just, You just tap that on there and you choose what you want. Duh. Water. Magic. She a pro now. Now she know what she's doing. 
Think of them a day. <laughs> Out of here, PG. Keep it PG. Say hi, Josh. Ladies and gentlemen. Hello. <laughs> So we're here getting ready to do a track walk. It's my first time at this track, so I gotta learn the track. Good morning. Good it's morning. a jam-packed day, heading to some media stuff for a press conference. Um, it's so cold, windy. Real cold. But check out our jackets, we're looking kind of fly though. It brings a Actually, I thought you had, I just have to get into it. Thank you. One answer. I like a natural. Got <laughs> I got like one, so you all know. She got like three. <laughs> <laughs> She's like kind of a big deal. one of the hardest nights because we had day one and then there's day two and you had to come back the next day um, but you got to sleep first <laughs> like you got to go home and sleep and get ready for the next day and it's like it it, well, it took so much uh, mental fortitude to one just stay totally confident in ourselves um, and I think it in that sense it was so helpful having her and us having each other to kind of be like yo listen we're still in this and we can still get it done. But it's like a moment where you have to just kind of like let it go and be like, listen, day one is done. I'm put that aside. I'm focused on what I can focus on. And that's getting ready for day two and do what we need to do for day two. So day two, he came out and was like, listen, we're just gonna give it everything we have here. ways that things can go you know what I mean and just because you dream of, of doing something and you set a goal and you work really hard doesn't mean it has to happen so I understood I understood what the moment was and it all fell on me and I think that's one of the things I love about sport as well it's it's this raw emotion that it affords you um, and you're so consumed in that moment what made it that emotional and what made it that much more fulfilling was the journey that I took to get there. It was literally like remembering starting the season and remembering where I was and knowing all the work that I had to put in to get there. 
Um, and to kind of like have everything finish off with an Olympic medal, it's like, how do you write a better story? Bronze medalist, Canada. Gumbadai, Canada. <laughs> So, so now just kind of looking back and it's like, okay, I did bobsleigh <laughs> um, and in six months I made a Winter Olympic team and in six months, you know, I won a bronze medal. And I think the three things that I took from this whole experience, um, I think the first thing, the importance of patience. The importance of patience and the importance of like trusting the process. You might not be where you want to be right now within this moment, but that doesn't mean you can't be where you, where you want to be. And I think if you spoke to a lot of the people who were out there with me, um, when they first saw me, there was the belief that kind of like, oh, you know, it's nice of her to come out and try, but you know, she's not going to make the team. But, um, Man, I just stay patient. Like I just stay patient. I was like, listen, just put your head down and just do the work. And understanding that things are a process and it's okay to be in process. It's okay to not be perfect and just kind of keeping that main goal, you know, in your mind and where you want to be and just working towards that. I think one of the things that helped me with that um, is I kind of, I kind of like let go of my expectation. I'm gonna focus on what I can focus on. I'm gonna control what I can control, and that's that's all that I can do. Like I'm not gonna grasp for like, ah, oh, I need it to be like this, and I need it to be like that. Um, so I feel like when I kind of let go of that expectation, and I just kind of went in very free and very very open. Um, I, I started to see a lot a lot of progress um, instead of kind of like bogging down on myself and getting down on myself for not doing this and for not doing that. The second thing I would say the importance of focusing on myself and not comparing myself to others. I think I really, really struggled initially because I was really focused on what the other girls on the team were doing, how much better they were pushing than me. I literally had to come to a point where I stopped looking at times and just started focusing on um, executing technical aspects because man my confidence was taking such a hit through all of that and like and it's like you're competitors you're not even looking at the fact like oh i just started they've been doing it for the past three four years or whatever um all i saw was that i wasn't as good as them and i was getting worse i was getting worse because i my, mentally i was so wrapped up and so focused on the wrong things when i made the decision to not look at the time that they were pushing to not even look at the times that i was pushing but to just be solely focused on what I wanted to execute, I saw such huge improvements. Um, it was crazy. And I'd say the third thing that bobsleigh and this whole experience helped me find, again, was having fun. Um, I think sometimes we get really caught up in um, this goal that we have and you know, I wanna do this and I wanna do that. I think I got into a place with track where it became very mundane sometimes or it became like a job. Like I have to do this and I have to do that. And I just feel like it was really nice to be in an environment where I just, it was just really freeing and I could have fun. Like this, that's the point of doing all of this stuff. The accomplishment is amazing and the accomplishment is great. and but it's the journey. Like it's 100% the journey and the process to get there. Like, like, Thank you guys for tuning in for the whole journey. You are appreciated. Um, so happy that I, you know, decided to challenge myself in a new way to kind of step out of my comfort zone. Um, but yeah, um, that's it. Bob's life, wrap up, life with fee. Um, stay tuned guys, cause we've got track outdoor season coming up. Bye. <laughs>